with the discovery of strong nuclear force it was discovered that the strong force is charge independent due to this inside the nucleus positively charged proton and neutral neutron experience the same strong force according to strong nuclear force there is no difference between these two particles because strong force does not depend on the charge and also the masses of proton and neutron are approx same in such a situation a new quantum number was required to separate proton and neutron from each other which is called isospin in this lecture we will discuss about isospin of subatomic particles Isospin is defined for those subatomic particles that interact with strong force. Such particles are called hadron. Hadron has meson boson particles and baryons fermion particles. Isospin term was introduced to describe groups of such particles those have almost same mass. Among all hadron particles, the mass of some particles is completely different. their mass is not equal to any other particle these are called singlet while the masses of proton and neutron are almost same they are called doublet similarly k plus k0 k minus k0 bar and the masses of both cascade particles are almost same they are also called doublet be careful that even though all four kions are the same but they are grouped in two different doublets Similarly the masses of all pi ions all sigma baryons and the masses of all rho mesons particles are almost same these are called triplet the masses of all the four delta baryon particles are also same these are called quadrat isospin defined for these groups commonly their group are called multiplets and their multiplicity is given by 2i plus 1 where i is the isospin so isospin is 0 for singlet half for doublet 1 for triplet and 3 by 2 for quadrat another important thing is that here isospin is defined only for hadrons this is because only hadrons interact with strong force not the leptons talk about leptons isospin has two different generations strong and weak generation here all the particles of which we have defined isospin this is their strong isospin strong isospin is not defined for leptons but still if leptons are participating in nuclear reaction their strong isospin considered to be zero but weak isospin is defined for leptons but here we do not go into such detail and restrict ourselves to strong isospin like the leptons all gas boson particles such as photon w and g boson also have strong isospin 0 in isospin spin does not mean the spinning motion of the particle rather this quantum number has given this name only because like the spin isospin also has values integer or half integer the dimension of spin is the dimension of angular momentum while isospin is a dimensionless quantity like the spin isospin also follows vector addition law according to isospin conservation a total isospin must remain conserved in a nuclear reaction like two protons decaying to kion and sigma both protons and the kion are the members of the doublet group having isospin half while the sigma is a member of a triplet group has isospin 1 the possible total isospin of the both parent particles can be 0 or 1 while the possible total isospin of the both daughter particles can be 1 by 2 or 3 by 2 since no total isospin of parent particles matches with the daughter particles that means isospin is not conserved in this decay reaction in the next example the decay of two protons is taking place in proton sigma and kion again since proton and kion are the members of the doublet group they have isospin half while the sigma is a member of the triplet group so its isospin will be 1 the possible total isospin of both parent particles is 0 or 1 while talking about the daughter particles 
possible total isospin of the proton and sigma may be 1 by 2 or 3 by 2. In this, if we do vector addition of the isospin of chi on, then the total isospin of the daughter particles may be 0, 1 or 2. Since the total isospin of the parent particle is matches with the total isospin of the daughter particles, so the isospin is conserved in this reaction. Again, comparing spin and isospin, isospin also has projection like this spin. But in spin, projection is denoted by G component of the spin, while in isospin, it is called the third component of isospin. For members of any multiplet group having isospin i, the values of the third component of isospin may vary from plus i to minus i. For example, the proton and neutron doublet group have isospin half, but the proton has a third component of isospin plus half, while for neutron, the third component of isospin is minus half. Similarly, the isospin of pi on triplet group is 1. So the third component of isospin of pi on plus has plus 1, pi on 0 has 0, while pi on minus has minus 1. Here, for all hadron particles, the third component of isospin is defined. The third component of isospin follows the algebraic addition rule, such as the interaction of two protons in decay to chi on and sigma baryon. In this decay, both proton and kion are the particles of doublet group having third component of isospin plus half, whereas sigma is the particle of a triplet group having third component of isospin plus 1. Since the total I3 of the parent particle is not equal to the total I3 of the daughter particles, that means the third component of I is not conserved in this reaction. In the next example, the interactions of proton and neutron are decaying into lambda and sigma particle. The proton and neutron have I3 plus half and minus half respectively, while lambda 0 is a singlet particle having I3 0 and sigma plus have I3 plus 1. Again, in this reaction, the third component of isospin is not conserved. As we learned, the proton and neutron have isospin half. But how can one calculate the isospin of a nucleus? A system made from a combination of proton and neutron. If a nucleus had G protons and N neutrons, the third component of the isospin of that nucleus is given by G minus N by 2, and the maximum isospin of the nucleus is the half of the mass number, such as nucleus of the helium. Such as nucleus of helium. The helium nucleus consists of two protons and two neutrons. So the third component of its isospin will be 0 and the maximum isospin will be 2. All isobars of any nucleus have the same isospin. Isobars are such nuclei, those have same mass number, such as carbon-14, nitrogen-14, oxygen-14. These are the isobar of each other and their isospin will be 7, but the third component of their isospin will be different. But deuteron's isospin is slightly different from this concept. The deuteron is called the nucleus of one proton and one neutron. That means its maximum isospin should be 1. But deuteron has isospin 0. This is because if a particle has isospin 1, that means that particle is a member of a triplet group. But in deuteron, one proton and one neutron together form a two nucleon singlet system. This is why its isospin is considered zero.